the stars of motion pictures and television are gathering for the party of the year. Give them the old razzle-dazzle, golden globe alum. Bring Cameron D to your proscenium, Meryl and Streepham, Gandolfinium. Give them the old pose for pictures, Leonardo um. Show us the stars that make the carpet glow. Biggies arrive as limos whoosh off. Give us the gal who danced her tush off. Razzle dazzle them at the Golden Globe show. Give them the old razzle dazzle, Halle Berry Young. Cheer Richard Gere, applaud Madonna, rejoice when you hear tonight's big honorary. Give them the old, take the gold home, Salma Hayek, um. see all the greats of Hollywood up here. Take us to where the fun is heading, just like a great big fat Greek wedding. Razzle dazzle the at the bash of the year. Give them the old pop the bubbly Brad and Jenny Young. Show them the glitz and glamour of your robe. So hard to know which winner's walking. Here's Ernst and Young, but they're not talking. Razzle dazzle them, razzle dazzle them. You are here at the Globes. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Starfield International Ballroom of Burr Griffin's Beverly Hilton Hotel, welcome to the 60th Annual Golden Globe Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome two of tonight's Best Acting nominees, Hugh Grant and Salma Hayek. Uh, good evening. Welcome to the 60th anniversary of the Golden Globe Awards. Tonight we'll be celebrating a year of excellence in both movies and television. And as is traditional, we're going to go straight in with our first award, which is the Best Supporting Actress in a Feature Film. And here are the nominees. Kathy Bates, About Schmidt. <laughs> Cameron Diaz, Gangs of New York. Queen Latifah, Chicago. Susan Sarandon, Igby Goes Down. Meryl Streep, Adaptation. <laughs> and the award goes to... Meryl Streep. <laughs> been nominated 789 times and I was getting 
so settled over there for a long winter's nap. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I didn't have anything prepared because it's been like since the Pleistocene era that I won anything. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Yoga. <sighs> I'm really <laughs> so thrilled and um, uh, so happy to have been able to work with this amazing group of youngsters <laughs> over here <laughs> in adaptation. The prodigiously talented Nick Cage, the graceful and um, so gifted Chris Cooper. <laughs> Um, it's because of them I'm here, and of course Spike, and Susan Orlean, that I, I apologize, you know, for <laughs> the second half, and, uh, and to Charlie Kaufman, who tried very hard to adapt your book, Susan, <laughs> uh, and did such a beautiful job. It's just an amazing film, and I'm so glad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Welcome last year's winners for Best Actress and Actor in a TV Drama. From Alias and 24, here are Jennifer Garner and Keeper Sutherland. Here are this year's nominees for Best Actress in a TV Series Comedy. Jennifer Aniston, Friends. Bonnie Hunt, Life with Bonnie. Jane Kaczmarek, Malcolm in the Middle. Deborah Messing, Will and Grace. Sarah Jessica Parker, Sex in the City. And the winner is... Jennifer Aniston, Frank. Jeez. Oh, my Lord, I never expect this to happen. Thank you, Hollywood Foreign Press. Thank you. Um, wow, um, this is surreal. Um, for, okay, I have to thank these five people, Matthew Perry, David Schwimmer, Lisa Kudrow, Courtney Cox, Matt LeBlanc. I love you guys. You started out... As uh, my colleagues, and you're my friends, and you're my family, and I, this wouldn't even be happening if it weren't for what I learn from you guys every day. And, um, and uh, Warner Brothers, of course, and Marta, and David, and Kevin, and our brilliant writers who just don't ever stop being brilliant, and um, I can't believe this. Um, uh, that's, uh, I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love my job, and uh, thank you. Thank you. For this year. Time Golden Globe Award winner and an all time comedy legend, Miss Carol Burnett. Best Drama and Best Comedy, I have the honor of introducing the first drama nominated for five Golden Globes tonight. 
This film seems to be about an ordinary man who faces a life-altering crisis when his wife of 42 years dies, but with actors like Jack Nicholson, Kathy Bates, director Alexander Payne, who doubles as a screenwriter with Jim Taylor, this is anything but ordinary. Uh, what's this simple story really about? Well, it's about love, commitment, self-discovery, life itself. It's about Schmidt. What the heck am I doing in Omaha? Please welcome Michael Caine's co-star and the quiet American, Brendan Fraser. Thank you. An event like this doesn't last for six decades by accident. It takes many, many people who've dedicated their lives to film and television with a fierce passion. Ladies and gentlemen, please salute me. Please, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Please salute me while you're at it. Now let's salute the group that's hosted this great party for the last 60 years. Why not? The Hollywood Foreign Press Association. <laughs> and now it's my privilege to introduce the president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association and correspondent for Germany and Canada, Dagmar Dunleavy. Thank you, Brendan. You're welcome, Dagmar. Thank you. <laughs> and welcome, everyone. Tonight, 250 million people in 125 countries around the world have joined our 60th anniversary celebration. And because of this growing popularity, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association takes pride that it is able to donate almost three quarters of a million dollars to more than 30 worthy charities. One of these is Film Made International, whose mission is to deliver feature films and other screen entertainment to refugee camps in hopes of bringing relief, laughter, and distraction to the children of war, some of whom are seeing the magic of movies for the very first time. The people in this room can take pride in knowing that their work serves as Goodwill Ambassador, providing hope, courage and inspiration to people all over the world. And for that, I can't think of a better reason to celebrate. Indeed. Yes. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good time. Here are the stars of the new film, How to Lose... God, I love you. Oh, I think I'd better move on, though. I think I'm having an Anne Bancroft moment. <laughs> Anyhow. Here are the nominees for Best Supporting Actor <laughs> in a series, miniseries, or TV movie. Alec Baldwin, Path to War. Brian Cranston, Malcolm in the Middle. John Spencer for The West Wing. Dennis Haysbert, 24. Michael Imperioli for The Sopranos. Sean Hayes, Will and Grace. Donald Sutherland for Path to War. Bradley Whitford, The West Wing. Jim Broadbent for The Gathering Storm. And the Golden Globe goes to... Donald Sutherland, Path to War.
Thank you. Uh, to the seven wonderful actors who were equal parts of this octet that we're in in this category, I was given this because I'm older than you are, <laughs> which I think is only fair. <laughs> I would like to thank Don King for my hairdresser. and the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. This will fill me with memories of John Frankenheimer and the terrific team of producers <laughs> the terrific team of producers and writers and truly great actors that he and Colin Callender's HBO put together. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Tim, Phil, Catherine, Fanny, Rogue, and thank you, John. It was joyful work, and I miss you. Next, Sharon Stone, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Best Actor and Actress in a Comedy or Musical. nominees for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. Nicolas Cage, Adaptation. <laughs> Kieran Culkin, Igby Goes Down. Richard Gere, Chicago. Hugh Grant, About a Boy. Adam Sandler, Punch Drug Love! <laughs> and the winner is... Richard Gere, Chicago! I'm literally totally shocked. I don't win anything. You I never win. This, buddy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just cat dance. And I didn't even want to do this movie. That's what I know. Um, uh, I'm really, I honestly did not expect this. I mean, Nicholas wins all these things, so I'm, and, and, and he was so great, I figured he was going to get it. And, and now your older brother got it, didn't he? That's right. Older brother? I want to thank the, uh, my heart is going like, I mean, it's like, Jesus. Uh, I want to thank the, uh, the Hollywood Foreign Press, a, um, uh, a deeply eccentric group of people, as we all know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, I want to thank, you know, I, my wife wrote out a list of people I'm supposed to thank, so I'm actually going to get it out now. It's not that. It's, 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 um, I think that's your suit rent. That's my... <laughs> You're going to need this when you take the tux back. Okay, all right. Okay, I want to thank, no, actually, the one I, I want to thank, and we haven't talked enough about him, is Kander and Ebb, to thank for this. Obviously, there is nothing that we did that we don't owe to Kander and Ebb uh, for their extraordinary music, and obviously Bob Fosse for, for the original concept of this, of this piece. And, and what hooked me into doing this was the, uh, obviously the beauty of the music and everything, but it was the script that Bill Condon wrote, which was so smart and so clever and so... It, it made sense. All the, he, he looked at the, the, the piece on Broadway and he go, how can you do this? Well. You know, Rob Marshall obviously had the idea, and working with, with Bill, they figured out how to actually make a movie. And, and the extraordinary thing, 90% of this, 95% maybe of this movie was actually in the script. The cross-cutting, all the smarts in it, it was all there. Um, 
obviously Rob Marshall, but I'm going to say more about you later. Uh, John DeLuca, who was who also our choreographer, and Denise and Joey, and uh, Marty Richards, who had these rights for 47 years, I think, before it actually had 50 years, and especially Craig Zayden, but especially Neil Marin, who was actually there every day producing this movie, man. Serious stuff. Um, uh, there's a guy I'd like to really thank here that, that people don't thank enough, but th there's a kindly, wonderful, gentle man um, that we all deeply love. Uh, his name is Harvey Weinstein. A little rough around the edges, but a heart of gold. And we do love you. And this is a good man. People don't know that, but he's done a lot of good things in life. They'll write an article about that someday, too. New Yorker. Um, here we go. There's a long list. I'm going to do this. I don't get to do it very often, so I'm going to do it. Uh, obviously, Renee and Catherine, you know, just the greatest extraordinary people and generous people to work with, and Latifah and John C. Riley and Christine Baranski and Lucy Liu and the whole cast, so extraordinary to work with. And, and, and my team of, of Rachel Hudgens and Tommy and Lynn and Luann, who always keep me together and happy, and uh, all the dancers that worked on the piece who were so extraordinary and, and amazing, and, and especially, especially Cynthia Arubia who probably deserves this. She should get this, because she taught me how to tap dance. And that, obviously, is why I got this thing, because the jerk actually tap danced at the end of the movie. Um, you know, there's Colleen Atwood costumes in John Meyer production, and, and Paul Bogev, and, and Elaine uh, Oberholtz, who worked with us on the music and singing and did all that. But I really want to thank uh, Ed Lamato, who my agent, who really worked to make this happen, talked me into it, talked them into it, somehow made this whole thing happen. God bless you, Edward. And obviously to my mother and father, Homer and Doris, and, and my kids, Hannah and Homer, and my lovely wife, who taught me how to smile. From U2, a superstar nominated for Best Song for Games of New York, here's Bono. Took an Italian to make a film about Irish people. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> like James Joyce took Dublin, Martin Scorsese took New York to be his muse. For pretty much his whole cinematic life, this city has been his subject. He wanted to know everything about his muse, her every avenue, her every dark corner, where and how she was born. Gangs of New York is that story, how his muse came into the world, kicking and screaming, as it happens. He chose Cameron Diaz to make her jealous. He got Leonardo DiCaprio to try and seduce her. Daniel Day-Lewis to try and own her, terrify her, oopsie daisies. Jay Cox to put the words in her mouth. Michael Bauhaus to photograph her mood swings. Caravaggio to Hieronymus Bosch. He asked my band, you 2 to play for her because this is also the story of America's early Irish immigrants, battle for survival and acceptance. It's a big, bold, bloody masterpiece, and we're very proud to be a small part of it. Gangs in New York. Ladies and gentlemen, a Golden Globe winner, soon to be seen in T3, Rise of the Machines, Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is payback time for me. For years, I've been driving people crazy about the right way to pronounce Schwarzenegger. In this category, almost every actress has a difficult name to pronounce. Thanks, God, for Gordie Hahn. 
But I've done my research, so here we are. Here are the nominees for Best Actress, Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. Maggie Gyllenhaal for Secretary. <laughs> Gordie Hahn for The Banger Sisters. <laughs> Nia Vandalos for The Big Fat Freak Wedding. <laughs> Renee Zellweger for Chicago. <laughs> and Catherine Zeta-Jones for Chicago. And the winner is... Renee Zellweger for Chicago. My brother doesn't believe this. He used to yell, shut up down the hall and slam the door when I tried to sing Paul McCartney. Uh, how about that, big brother Drew? <laughs> okay, I wrote this down because, uh, as you see with Richard, there's a lot of people involved. Um, um, thank you, um, Hollywood Foreign Press, for so warmly receiving this, this film. That was our little talent show, wasn't it? Um, and the longtime dream of so many so many people coming to fruition, so it meant so much. Thank you. Um, all the ladies on the list, I thought there's no way. I barely wrote this legibly because I didn't think I was going to need it. Um, what an honor, and to Miramax for taking a chance on a musical for crying out loud, especially Meryl Poster um, for not letting me chicken out. Thank you. And to Harvey Weinstein, the, uh, the tough guy on the playground with the biggest heart. Thank you for saying you do anything for your friends, and you always do. Thank you. Um, okay, here we go. Ready? My Chicago family, Catherine the Beauty. I'm telling you, there's nobody I'd rather take those steps with than you. I'll never forget it. The laughter and listening to you every day and being around you in your bliss like that, I swear, I mean, it was such a joy. You're, you're a goddess, and I'm so glad that the world now knows what you can do. <laughs> okay, and then there's Richard, my first boyfriend, even though he doesn't know it. I'm so proud of you, honey. Congratulations. Of course, the wonderful John C., who's the star of every movie he does. Latifah, you are my queen. I adore you. Christine Baranti, who's so, so talented and inspiring. And Tay Diggs, thank you for letting me step all over you, literally. I know I miss the knee sometimes, and I'm very sorry. Um, the Broadway dancers, what a pleasure. Cynthia, Joey, Denise for teaching. John DeLuca for teaching. Paul and Elaine for at the piano. Rick, Randy, Matt for courage in the recording studio. Our producers, Marty Richards, thank you for trusting me with your dream. And of course, Craig and Neil, who were there every day. Brilliant Bill Condon, who made this work. I'm almost done, I swear to God. Um, my fellows at CIA who take good care of me, Brant, Brian, Kevin, of course, Jenny, Mom, Dad, and Drew for saying, never saying don't try. Sim Jellison for believing first. Nancy Ryder who takes care of me, makes sure that my dress is buttoned up. My rock, John Carabino, who teaches me that hard work and inspiration matters. It matters. And um, ladies and gentlemen, have you met my friend Rob Marshall? <laughs> Thank you for the gift, not just the fancy dancing shoes that are in my closet now, but for the gifts that came along with this. I can never, never express to you what it means to me, your faith and your support. I just love you. I will, for the rest of my life, be proud to say that I was in Rob Marshall's first movie, and I will forever, ever be proud to call you my friend. This is yours. Thank you. 
Next, another film award and best actress in a TV drama. For Chicago, Bill Condon. For the hours, David Hare. For Far From Heaven, Todd Hayes. For Adaptation, Charlie Kaufman and Donald Kaufman. For About Schmidt, Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor. And the winner is... Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor, About Schmidt. That's Jim, I'm Alexander. Jeez. Uh, um, it's a little hard for me to accept the idea that anything in the arts can be declared the best. So really, I would like to thank the uh, members of the Hollywood Foreign Press for the honor and recognition of the nomination, as well as for the honor and uh, recognition of this award. And um, I would also like to acknowledge the excellence of our fellow nominees, in whose company I think we're proud to be counted, Jim. <laughs> and I want to thank you, okay. who uh, wrote the first letters to Ndugu uh, ten years ago, and uh, Michael Bessman and uh, Harry Giddis and everybody at New Line for uh, making it happen, and, uh, and, and Louis Begley for writing a book that inspired us to get Ndugu's letters in the mail. And, uh, um, but I guess that brings me to what I really want to say. And what I, I really want to say, <laughs> Jack, uh, uh, just please wrap up. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks very much. Please welcome the honored star of The Practice, Laura Flynn Boyle, and two-time Golden Globe winner for Frasier, Kelsey Grammer. You've probably noticed during the evening the two attractive young people who've been assisting us with our ceremony. They are carrying on a long-standing tradition of second-generation performers participating in our ceremony as Mr. and Ms. Golden Globe. Tonight's honorees, the daughter of Andy Garcia, actress Dominique Garcia Lorido. <laughs> and the son of Lorenzo Lamas and grandson of Fernando Lamas and Arlene Dahl, actor A.J. Lamas. for our category, in which the nominees are all accomplished actresses who have been previously honored with a Golden Globe or the Emmy. Here are the nominees for Best Actress in a TV Series Drama. Edie a group of successful movie sequels. Director Peter Jackson has once again brought the world of Middle Earth, hobbits, wizards, and elves to life while staying true to an author, to author J.R.R. Tolkien's beloved epic story all the way. Great acting, writing, and some of the most powerful visuals ever put on film all make lightning strike, uh, strike twice and in spectacular fashion. Here are the scenes from Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Ladies and gentlemen, a Golden Globe winner for his music for The Lion King, please welcome Elton John. Thank you very much. Here are the nominees for Best Original Song from a Motion Picture. Die Another Day from Die Another Day. Music by Madonna and Mirway Amansi. Lyrics by Madonna. Father 
and daughter from the Wild Thornberries movie. Music and lyrics by Paul Simon. There could never be a father loved his daughter more than I have loved The Hands That Built America from Gangs of New York. Music and lyrics by U2. Here I am from Spirits, Diet of the Cimarron. Music by Hans Zimmer. Lyrics by Brian Adams and Gretchen Peters. Lose Yourself from 8 Mile. Music and lyrics by Eminem. And the winner is... Told you, boys. The hands that build America, Gangs of New York, music and lyrics, you too. That was really, really fucking brilliant. And uh, really, really great. And you know, there's a lot of songs in, in, in films and some great songs and a couple of U2 songs, but not often are the songs come out of the characters and out of the story of the film. And this goes back to a conversation I had with Martin Scorsese over 10 years ago and Harvey Weinstein banging and saying, you gotta do this. And, it's, it's, it's really a, a very, very special night for our band. Would you say something, The Edge, yes. please? Okay. Um, just want to say uh, the films of Martin Scorsese made a massive impact on us growing up in Dublin in the 70s. It's such a privilege to be a small part in one of his movies. And to Harvey for putting it together, thank you so much. Thank you to the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Here is one of the stars of the award-winning Sex and the City, and with her, the Guardian himself, Kristen Davis and Simon Baker. I realize these, these, type, of, uh, these type of awards are usually given to uh, mature performers. And, uh... But to have it for myself, I really, it's just, it's amazing to me. And to be given it by the press, <laughs> that's really incredible. <laughs> In other words, I prefer my audiences stirred, not shaken. I also want to thank the foreign press for after 35 years in this business, presenting me with this award halfway through my career. Michael Caine and Robin Williams honor Jane Hackman next. We're here tonight to honor Gene Hackman, one of the greatest actors I know. And I'm, I'm one of your biggest fans, which is why I'm here. Now, Gene, so far you've appeared in 91 movies. Your film career spanned more than 42 years, and uh, you, you were no youngster when you started out, isn't that right? <laughs> How old were you back then? I don't know. We, we put it in the computer, there must have been a glitch because you came out as 102 now. <laughs> of course, we, we can't show all the clips from all 91 of your movies, 
So we narrowed the list down to uh, a slim 89. The others disintegrated in the editing room. <laughs> Gene's motion picture debut came in 1961 when he played the cop on the left with no lines opposite Tully Sabalas. But his first real break came when he appeared in just one little scene with Warren Beatty in Lilith. Warren liked him so much, he cast him in Bonnie and Clyde as his brother Buck. Hey, listen, it was, it was either you or him, wasn't it? What? The guy that you killed, you had to do it, didn't you? It was either you or him. You put me on the spot. I what? had to. You had to do it, right? I had to. I had to. I, I, I know you did. Don't uh, say anything to Blanche about that. Whoa! We're going to have ourselves a time, boy! Yeah, we certainly are. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> After a series of major roles, Gene donned a pork pie hat that was a little too small, but gave a performance that was so big he got his first Golden Globe and the Oscar for The French Connection. All right, tough eyes here. Get your hands on your head. Get off the bar and get on the wall. Come on, move. Move. Come on, sweetheart, move. Come on, move out. All right, come on. Come on. Face the window. Move. Face the wall. Turn around there. Turn around. Move. Get on. Get him out. Turn, turn, turn around. Hey, he you dropped that. Pick it up. Hands up. Pick it up. Come on, move. What are you looking at? All right, bring it here. Get your hands out of your pockets. What's my name? Doyle. What? Mr. Doyle. Come here. How much more blood? Here's Gene, his two-fisted reverend, trying desperately to cling to his faith. How many more lives? That wasn't enough. Now this girl! You want another life? Then take me! Next, Gene played a real loser who wins the friendship of Al Pacino. I got to tell you something about me. You're the meanest son of a bitch alive, you know what I mean? Yeah? I don't trust anybody. I don't love anybody. And I can tear the ass out of a damn elephant, too. We're gonna be partners, okay? Okay. All right. Come on. As Superman's arch enemy, Lex Luthor, Gene was brilliant as the world's greatest Thanks criminal the mind. Of the United States government, we are about to be involved in the greatest real estate swindle of all time. Lex, what is this obsession with real estate? Miss Desmarker, when I was six years old, my father said to me, "Get out." <laughs> Before that, he said, "Son." Stocks may rise and fall. Utilities and transportation systems may collapse. People are no damn good. But they will always need land, and they'll pay through the nose to get it. Remember my father said, land. Right. In Mississippi Burning, Gene and fellow agent William De Willem Defoe had very different views about fighting racism. That's the difference between them and us. That's the difference between them and you. You're not any more like them than I am. Wrong. What do you care what I do to some some bitch hiding behind a sheriff's badge? Don't you have the whole world to change? That's right, and I'm changing. Oh, you're just as arrogant as you are stupid. You're changing it too. Well, I damn well I'm gonna make some changes right now. Don't be so stupid. Don't go messing this up just because you're partial to fooling around with witnesses. You. Oh, oh come on. Ah! Take a look at the deal, see if you can come up with it. Next, Gene teaches Tom Cruise that the firm will go to any lengths for a deal. What do you think I mean? Well, I don't know. You're the risk taker. You think I'm talking about breaking the law? No, I'm just trying to figure out how far you want to invent. As far as you can without breaking it. In other words, don't risk an IRS audit. I don't give a damn about an audit. They just better not win. Gene's double barrel performance opposite Clint Eastwood again won him the Golden Globe and the Oscar. All right, gentlemen. He's got one barrel left. When he fires that, take out your pistols 
and shoot him down like the mangy scoundrel he is. Misfire, kill us, bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome another great fan of Gene Hackman, Robin Williams. Thank you, Mr. Michael, thank you very much. Gene Hackman in Hollywood is known as an actor's actor, but in my house he is known as a comedian's comedian. I have worked with him in the birdcage and I've also seen the other side of Gene. I have seen Gina. <laughs> I have seen the Ed Wood side of Gene Hackman. I have seen this former Marine, this very large man turned into one of the more frightening transvestites <laughs> since J. Edgar put on a teddy. <laughs> since Dennis Rodman put on a wedding gown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, behold, Gina Hackman in the birdcage. <laughs> Tell me that's not B. Arthur. Or Linda Tripp. Go, girlfriend. No one will dance with me. Look at this dress. I told him white would make me look fat. What about me? I'm just as pretty as the rest of these guys. Dance? <sighs> not, not you, Barbara. Don't leave me. Don't leave me here. I don't want to be the only girl not dancing. Are you trying to steal my woman? Gene won his third Golden Globe for this role. Throwing it down with Danny Glover. Coltrane? What? Did you just call me Coltrane? No. You didn't? No. Okay. <clears throat> but if I did, you wouldn't be able to do anything about it, would you? You don't think so? No, I don't. Listen, Royal, if you think you can march... You want to talk some jive? I'll talk some jive. I'll talk some jive like you never heard. Oh, yeah? Right on! And now everybody remembers young Frankenstein. Mm. Oh, don't, 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 don't speak. Don't speak. Don't say a word. Oh, my joy. And my prize from heaven. Oh, you must have been the tallest one in your class. My name is Harold, and I live here all alone. What is your name? Mm. I didn't get that. Mmm. No. Nope. Forgive me. I didn't realize you were mute. You see how heaven plans. Me, a poor blind man, and you, you have a mute. An incredibly big mute. Whether it be comedy or drama, you are the most gifted actor in America. You're also a truly superhuman being. Just don't get into your parking space. We realize that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the theme from the film says it all. You are the man. Take a good look, Pop. I'm Buck Barrel. Please come on, Dad. I need your car. This is a story about the pistol. Assalto, come on, assalto! Cobb, arrest this man Captain and get him out of here! You started this conversation anyhow. Look at me, Dad. Mickey Mantle sucks. Cigars. Who is it, Superman? Lex Luthor. I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. What's your problem? We didn't ask you to fight for us, but damn it, don't fight against us! Mississippi would be proud of you. You've struck a blow for the white man. <laughs> but you're losing me my jury! I'll see you in hell, white money. Ladies and gentlemen, Gene Hackman.
I never wanted to be anything but an actor. George Scott had a, a, a line in Patton uh, that I think is appropriate. God help me, I love it. I truly do. Uh, being at the Palace Theater in my little hometown, my favorite time as a young boy. If I had 40 cents, I could ride the streetcar back and forth, get a bag of popcorn and see a double feature. I would sit in that movie house, the screen would light up and I'd be transported to darkest Africa and swing from the trees with Johnny Weissmuller, dive to the depths of the ocean with Ray Milan and John Wayne, ride the Santa Fe Trail or fly wingman with Errol Flynn, or walk side by side with my favorite, James Cagney. I somehow or another, I, I knew that there were people behind all of that dream making, but I chose to believe that this was happening for the first time for me on that screen on that Saturday afternoon. I watched in fascination as films like DeMille's The Buccaneer or Union Pacific unfolded before me. Just a couple of miles from where we are this evening, uh, Cecil B. DeMille helped to create The Squall Man in 1914, and that was the beginning of feature films as we know them. I'm honored and proud to be this year's recipient of the Cecil B. DeMille Award. I want to thank the Hollywood Foreign Press, all of you. And um, there's a line that I, I always wanted to say, top of the world, Ma, top of the world. <laughs> A major movie award presented by Harrison Ford, next. Here are the nominees for Best Director Motion Picture. For the hours, Stephen Daldry. With the Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, Peter Jackson. For Adaption, Spike Jones. For Chicago, Rob Marshall. For About Schmidt, Alexander Payne. For Gangs of New York, Martin Scorsese. And the winner is... Martin Scorsese. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sit down. Relax. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I, uh, I wanted to make sure I thanked everybody that, uh, well, this picture's been a dream of mine. They always say a dream, but it's, this is really, maybe a dream come true is a cliche because um, cliches are true, but it really is. Uh, I was seven years old when I first heard the first stories about this, this time, and uh, it's taken about, I don't know what, I'm 60 or something, I, about 40 some odd years to get it done. But um, I have to thank Harvey Weinstein. And thank you, sir. Graham King, Rick Yorn, Mike Ovitz, and Rick Schwartz, and uh, Colin Vange, whom I drove all crazy, all of them. Uh, my writers, uh, Jay Cox, my good friends, and uh, Steve Zalian and Kenny Lonigan. Um, 
Robbie Robertson, ha Howard Shore, uh, uh, U2 and Bono, Peter Gabriel. Uh, on the production, Vic Armstrong, who did such an extraordinary job, the second unit. Ellen Lewis, um, casting. I have to say these names because I might not be able to get to say them again. So Dante Ferretti's Extraordinary Sets, Michael Ballhouse's Photography, Thelma Schoonmaker, uh, her, her editing for many years with me, um, uh, Sandy Powell's costumes, and uh, the extraordinary cast. John C. Riley's here tonight, and of course, Cameron Diaz, and Leo DiCaprio and Daniel Day-Lewis. I have to thank everybody. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a star of the upcoming NBC movie, War Stories, Jeff Goldblum. And with him, Golden Globe. Time, the Globes have honored such films as Some Like It Hot, West Side Story, Tootsie, and The Lion King. And here are this year's nominees, starting with the story of an irresponsible cad played by Hugh Grant, who reluctantly becomes friend and surrogate father to a 12-year-old young man about a boy. I'm not your family, mate. I'm not. I'm not your uncle. I'm not your big brother. And I think we've established pretty firmly now I'm not your father either, am I? Uh, I tell you what I am. I'm the guy who's really good at choosing trainers or records, OK? That's it. I can't help you with real things. I can't help you with anything that means anything. You could try. This next film is creative, surprising, and features a great performance by Nicolas Cage as a screenwriter with writer's block. Here's Adaptation. I've got to stop sweating. Can she see it dripping down my forehead? Oh, she looked at my hairline. She thinks I'm bald. She's... We think you're great. Oh, wow. Thanks. So, tell me your thoughts on this crazy little project of ours. First, I think it's a great book. I just don't want to ruin it by making it a Hollywood thing. Uh, you know, changing the orchids into poppies and turning it into a movie about drug running, you know? Why, why can't there be a movie simply about, about flowers? Like last year's Moulin Rouge, the third nominated film has the world singing the praises of the movie musical. And why not? It's got Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Richard Gere, and all that jazz. Here's a look at Chicago. Our next movie came out of nowhere to become the number one grossing independent film of all time. Here's a look at a big fat hit, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Βαπτίζετε ο δούλος του Θεού Ιωάννης εις το όνομα του Πατρός Ομή. και του Ιού Ομή. και του Αγίου Πνεύματος. Last film in the category is based on the classic Charles Dickens tale of a displaced family. It features an all-star cast having a field day with some of the richest material in all of literature. Nicholas Nickel. Gentlemen, this is Miss Nanetta Crummels, the infant phenomenon. And how old is she? She is 10 years of age, sir. Not 
More? Well, today. And the winner is... Chicago. Accepting the award for Chicago is producer Martin Richards. You have no idea. Thank you. It wasn't even necessary. Just being here is enough. Uh, you have no idea what a long trip this has been. I have so many people to thank that I, I have to read this. And, 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 and Rob, yes. Uh, I was going to say I'm honored and overwhelmed, but I guess you, guess the message. you get that message. The dream of making Chicago into a picture has finally become an amazing reality. And now, this incredible award. In creating the film, one person could never have done this alone. It began a long time ago with a great man by the name of Robert Fosse, my dear friend, Bobby Fosse. Uh, and my longtime business partner, Robert Fryer, who started me in this crazy business, and my angel, my love above my wife, Mary Lee. It started with passion, first mine, yeah, believe it or not, Harvey's. <laughs> and then came the miracle. The miracle was a young man, a brilliant young man, my young director, Robert Marshall. And another brilliant man, our writer, Bill Comden. In a dream cast, you've honored with nominations this evening. The gorgeous, talented, incredibly hardworking, lovely Catherine Zeta-Jones. My big new crush, Renee. They all know your last name, and I've never pronounced it right yet. <laughs> Queen Latifah, the wonderful Queen Latifah. John C. Riley, who I love and has been in everything this year. And Mr. Richard Gere. God bless you, Richard Gere. All singing and dancing to the incredible music of the, and lyrics of John Kander and Fred Ebb. <laughs> Thanks to the magic of Dion Beebe, Martin Walsh, Jules Fisher, Pezzi, Peggy Eisenhower, Randy Spenloff, Rick Wake, John Muir, and Colleen Atwood, who are all part of this incredible thing. You can't let me go, I can't help it. I'm indebted to Bob Weinstein who not only let me be on the screen, but gave up his billing for his incredible office. He gave his billing to all of, to Merle and to Julie and to Jennifer. And I am, I won't forget this time. And to my two great executive producers, Neil Marin, Craig Zayden. Nicole Kidman presents Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama, next. Tonight's winner of the Foreign Language category will join such Golden Globe classics as Black Orpheus, The Cajo Fall, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Here are this year's nominees for Best Foreign Language Film. From France, Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress. 
from Brazil, City of God. From Mexico, the crime of Father Amaro. From China, Hero. From Germany, Nowhere in Africa. From Spain, Talk to Her. And the winner is Talk to Her. Accepting the award for Talk to Her is director Pedro Almodovar. You know, I, I know that I was very funny three years ago, but uh, that only happens once in your life. So I'm going to read it. You know, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, well, first of all, since I always forget with the segment, thanks to the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press for this amazing award, and to Sony Picture Classics, Michael Barker, Tom Bernard, and Marcy Bloom uh, for their support and intelligence since the moment they read, talk to her a script. Well, you, you know, you can imagine when someone is uh, giving you an script that, well, it's about two comatose, two comatose ladies, and you know, and one man that cries, and the other one talks a lot, you know. No, you, had, you need some a sort of intelligence to read it. And they got it, absolutely. Uh, well, in this moment of my life and career, this award represents an enormous support. I would like to dedicate it to the American audience, it means you. Uh, oh, I'm lost. No, to the critics and journalists and to all of you for your enthusiasm and the lack of prejudice with which you have embraced the movie. Really, thank you very much. Nasud. <laughs> Thank, but don't worry, I will, I will not name all of them. Thanks to my brother, Agustin, producer of the movie, and to all that took part in it, Javier Camara, Dario Grandinetti, Leonor Watlin, Rosario Flores, Geraldine Chaplin, and uh, there is a small detail that struck me in the hotel that I'm living here. The note you hang on your door asking no one to enter your room, what it normally said, do not disturb. Now it says, peace. I like the suddenness of this detail. The doors in my hotel are crying out for peace. I would also like, I would also like to dedicate this award to everyone that fight for peace and to all that are not afraid to say so. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome last year's Best Actress winner, nominated tonight for the hours, Nicole Kidman. And uh, the nominees for Best Actor in a Drama are Adrian Brody, the pianist. Michael Caine, The Quiet American. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis, Gangs of New York. Leonardo DiCaprio, Catch Me If You Can. And Jack Nicholson, About Schmidt. And the winner is... Jack Nicholson, About Schmidt.
I, I'm so surprised because, um, no. doesn't Nicole look lovely with her old nose? She looks nice with her old nose. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't know whether to be happy or ashamed because I thought we made a comedy. But I, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm very proud of this and I, I'm always happy to be in a room full of such great movie makers. It's been, it actually always stirs me up, I know. And um, I think very few filmmaking collaborations have started like mine and Harry Giddis as members of a softball team called the Gidgets <laughs> and the Buck Wingo All-Stars. Harry put the project together. He got me in it. Got the wonderful writers, Jim Taylor and uh, Alexander Payne, who you honored tonight. Thank you for that, too. Uh, so, for the work, it was wonderful for us. Uh, we had a wonderful cast. We had the Bates Motel, Kathy. <laughs> June Squibb, who played uh, uh, my wife. Uh, Dermot Mulrooney. His haircut alone, should have let you know, it was a comedy, I thought. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know the evening's getting short. I took a Valium tonight, so... <laughs> so I'm just gonna thank Bobby Shades and his company who've done us uh, very proud. And uh, Hope Davis, too. I, I didn't want to forget Hope Davis. Thank you all very much for this. <laughs> Next, Brad Pitt presents Best Actress in a Drama. Here are the nominees for Best Actress in a Motion Picture Drama. Salma Hayek, Frida. Nicole Kidman, The Hours. <laughs> Diane Lane, Unfaithful. <laughs> Julianne Moore, Far From Heaven. And Meryl Streep, The Hours. And the winner is... Nicole Kidman, the hour. so much to the Hollywood Foam Press. I'm in shock a little bit. Um, Stephen Daldry, you are an extraordinary director and you took such a chance casting me. And um, thank you for being so consistently brilliant every day. Um, <laughs> and Scott Rudin for taking this film and believing in it from the very beginning and fighting for it. To Paramount, um, Sherry Lansing and everybody at Paramount for making this movie, John, and to Harvey uh, Weinstein and everyone at Miramax. I mean, it's a, it was a tricky movie in terms of um, the subject matter um, and I'm just grateful that it got made. And I also, I have an extraordinary um, family of people around me who take care of me. <laughs> Um, Susan Batson, who uh, shares with me her talent and just her, her generous spirit. Um, Kevin Huvain, who read this script and said, Nicole, read this now. It's the best screenplay I've read in a long time. Um, and Rick Nasida and, and Mark Epstein. Um, also, I just want to say this year, I think you really see that there is 
an enormous amount of um, really, really, I'm blushing, really good performances by women um, in television and in cinema. And I say to the writers, please keep writing for us because we're very interesting. <laughs> and to the directors, please keep taking chances and giving us complicated, rich characters to play. Um, I do believe if you look at this year, and I share this with all of the women that have worked incredibly hard to put complicated, wonderful characters on screen. So, thank you. <laughs>from all of tonight's nominated dramas. Once again, here are the nominees. About Schmidt. <laughs> Gangs of New York. <laughs> the Hours. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. The Two Towers. <laughs> the Pianist. And the winner is The Hours. Accepting the award for The Hours is producer Scott Rudin. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, HFPA. This, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is extraordinary. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I cannot possibly stand here by myself. Meryl Streep, Nicole Kidman, Julianne Moore, please come up with me. Please. <laughs> if you want to win one of these, these are the three people you want to work with. <laughs> uh, th three. <laughs> three astonishing, astonishing women. Great friends, great partners. Uh, this film means so much to me to, and to all of us who made it. Uh, it's, it started with Michael Cunningham, who wrote a beautiful book and trusted us with it. Um, David Hare wrote an extraordinary script. Stephen Daldry directed it magnificently. I couldn't be prouder of what you did with this film. Thank you so much. Um, Sherry Lansing and John Dolgen and everybody at Paramount have backed every play I've ever asked them to. I, there are no words to describe the gratitude I feel to you guys. Uh, Rob Friedman and your whole group, everybody. Leslie Dart, I love you wherever you are. <laughs> Nadia, everybody. Um, and I mostly want to thank John Barlow. Honey, wherever you are is where I want to be. Thank you so much. It's been a great night, everybody. See you next year. Good night.